Hello fellow orchid lovers, it's Danielle here with an update on my experiment orchids. So I hope you guys have all been doing well. I do have a few orchids to share with you in this update. So if you'll remember uh, the first video that we did, we highlighted these three orchids. I do have a few other experiments uh, that I'm working on. My cats are in here with me. This is Nala. She's very vocal, as you can tell. Um, so these are the three that were in the original series. Uh, we have two Pathiopetalums and one Zygopetalum. The Pathiopetalums are doing well. Um, anyone that has Pathiopetalums, <laughs> you'll know they grow very slow, or uh, you know that's what I've heard. Um, these are new to me, so. I'm making an assumption based on, you know, someone else's knowledge, not of my own. But indeed, I've noticed that there is growth, but it is slow. So when we got this one and converted it over to my version of semi-hydro, it had this leaf just starting and it's, you know, it's progressed. It's doing pretty good. And then this one, when we converted it, it had just started this new growth. So there's a fair amount of progress on this one. Now the roots are doing pretty good. They seem to be crossing over really well. They seem to be happy with the humidity levels. I changed the setup a little bit from the original post that I did. Originally, I just had the microfiber kind of looping up in here. I have it now looping together and up to the top just to keep that humidity near the top of the plant, and it does seem to be working. These microfiber strips, even when the water level gets low, stay moist, and uh, it does seem to be helping uh, the plants. So again, root growth, lots and lots of root growth, seem very happy. This is typically where I keep the water level. And uh, same thing with this one. Again, happy roots, it looks like. Again, I'm new to this uh, type of orchid, so to me, they look happy. You may look at them and say, oh, they're not so happy, but the plant is growing and it seems like, um, it seems like they're happy. This one, when I started it, it did have some nubs, some roots that were starting, but unfortunately, I, you know, I don't really wanna disturb it too much, so I don't, I can't really check to see how those roots did. I'm assuming okay, because if we're gonna compare and contrast these two, this one's growing quicker than this one is. So I'm assuming that those roots um, did well. Now the zygopetalum, I was anticipating it to just keel over and die. <laughs> um, I hesitated for a while to actually put it into my version of semi-hydro because I was under the impression that even growing it in traditional methods such as bark, moss, you know, uh, coconut husk, whatever it is that is your preferred method is, is difficult. Um, not impossible if you know what you're doing, but difficult. And, um, you know, Michael McCarthy kind of gave me a little pep talk about what they need and it gave me the confidence to, to try. And uh, I have to report, it's doing great. I mean, it continues to grow um, new structures the roots continue to grow. Um, I can show you. The roots inside are a little hard to see because they, they were very, not a lot of them, and they were kind of, so the pebbles kind of cover them, but I can show you here. Come here, little guy. Um, new root growth. There's a couple of those that are coming out. Um, and then I think that might be a new growth right there. There is something developing. So I'm kind of excited about that. I don't know for sure if it is, but it certainly looks like a new growth to me. You see right there next to that root. So, but regardless, uh, she's doing really good. So I am more than pleased and a little bit um, taken aback by how well she is doing. I did not expect her to do well and she is. So um, again, you can't really see too many roots. You can see a green one there, but a lot of her old roots you can see, but not really because of the humidity in the glass. There's another new root right there. Um, most of them are kind of back in the pebbles, so you can't really see them too well, but uh, you can see a few. So no, no major root dieback, and it looks like, you know, she's doing good. 
So other experiments that I'm doing is seeing if I can actually grow in media. Um, uh, I started water culture because I was killing orchids that were grown in bark and moss. And uh, so I really don't prefer to grow in organic media because I have a tendency to not do well with that. But I bought this beautiful vanilla plant and uh, I did try a vanilla plant a couple years ago, maybe a year, two years ago. Um, it was a cutting, it wasn't well rooted, it didn't make it. <laughs> so I decided for now to keep the vanilla in the bark that it came in and it's doing really well. I mean, the humidity in this room, I try to keep no lower than 50. And as you can see, it's root tips, even though it's not really grabbing onto anything overall, uh, the root tips are doing really, really good. I mean, look at these roots. <laughs> really, really good. And it's grown so much. It When I got it, it was just barely hanging below this level. Look how much it's grown since I got it. And I've only had it a couple months. So, you know, it is happy. It is happy. I know that it's getting too heavy for that pot because it's, you know, the slightest touch and it wants to fall over. Uh, the, so I'm gonna have to figure out something else. I know it likes to climb too, so this whole hanging thing is probably not ideal for it, but I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do, so I'm just leaving it alone for now. And I just water, once a week I water the top of the bark until the water pools a little bit in the bowl, and then that's it. I don't water it at all for a whole week. And then I come back a week later, the bark is dry and I water it again, and it seems to be working. Uh, the other one is my Phaeus, which I probably should have taken out for you guys. She's doing pretty good. Um, she got a little bit of burn on her uh, left side because I had her turned like more on this wall and she was getting too much light. So I had to kind of scooch her back so she doesn't get any direct sunlight. There's a lot of bright light here, but not direct sunlight. Uh, she does seem to have a new growth forming, but it's forming very slow, but her top growth is continual. Like she just keeps getting more and more leaves. So I think she's pretty happy. And I only water her when the moss is crispy, which maybe isn't enough because she is, um, I think they come from like boggy areas. So I probably should be watering her a little bit more, but I'm so afraid with the organic media that I'm going to overwater that I'm kind of erring on the side of don't water that much. <laughs> Uh, these are my my experiment with mounts. I do have a few dendrobiums that I know would prefer to be mounted. So this is kind of what me and my husband came up with. This is my unicum that got like destroyed by spider mites this year. Um, so basically I just took strips of microfiber and braided them and then, you know, braided it around the roots and then it hangs down into a reservoir. So the microfiber stays um, damp, um, but not like soaking wet. Like these roots are not not really wet right now. They're actually kind of a little bit dry. Uh, so what I do is twice a week, I just pour fertilized water right over the roots and make sure that the reservoir gets filled up. Um, and they seem to be okay. I have my unicum this way. Uh, this one has terrible roots, so she does have trouble pushing out her new leaves. Um, really bad roots. I have my pendulum in this method. She's doing really good. Her leaves are going deciduous. She's dropping them. And then I also have my Victoria Regine in this method as well. And they all seem to be doing pretty good. And then the final experiment that I have is I am growing two Phalaenopsis in just straight well water with no fertilizer. I had a conversation with one of my subscribers a while back that they know that people that have well water feel that there are enough nutrients in their well water um, that they don't need to fertilize their orchids and their orchids still bloom and are happy. So I'm trying it with two of my complex hybrid fowls. Um, I had started them on a fertilizer, fertilizer regimen when I got them, but I switched them strictly over uh, to well water now. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what that does. So that's my update. I hope you guys are all doing well. Very excited about the progress of these babies and I will talk to you all next time.